This here is a visualization of these three books made using Infernodos.com text network analysis and visualization app. In this video I'm going to show you how it works. So here we have a visualization of these three books of Yaval Sarari, uh, Deus, Sapiens and 21 Lessons and we can see what those books are about using the graph so it identifies the main topics inside and the relations between them. Every word that is used in this text is a node, every co-occurrence is the relation. We build a graph and then we identify the main topics. So we see that he's writing a lot about world war global, so global war in the world. Then he's writing about how people believe in something and live with it. Then human history, AI. So the third topic, the fourth topic, story life identity. We have more topics identified here. And we can then get a clear understanding of what this book is about. War, people, society, history, uh, human life, religion, identity. Then we can also click on show categories and use the AI that generates uh, taxonomies based on those topics. So we can get a more general zoom out view. We see that he's writing about religion, spirituality, internet, technology and politics. So here we get a general understanding of what this text is about. We also have other text mining elements here, such as trends of topics, how they evolved, statistics, so all the main nodes uh, and all the metrics, sentiment, positive, neutral, negative. Then we have an insight panel into the network structure of the text, so for those who are interested in the narrative variability. And then we finally can also explore the relations between the different topics. So for example, if I'm interested here in the notion of AI, if I click on that notion, I will see what other nodes it's connected to in the network. So for example, AI human, and then what else is there? Ability. So I click on AI human ability, I see that it's connected to the words like create and make here in the analytics panel. So I understand that he's talking about creativity and making something using AI and human abilities. But I can also click here and see in which context those terms are actually used in the books. So I can get a more in-depth insight on this topic from the book itself using this non-linear way of getting into the discourse through the graph actually. You see I started from the periphery here, AI, and then somehow infiltrated into this discourse on the topic that was interesting for me. And that's also when I can start exploring some ideas based on that. So I can use the built-in AI feature here that looks at what is selected in the graph and then proposes me to use GPT-3 AI content generation tool to come up with some interesting facts or research questions for those who like to criticize AI that it's thinking for you. This one also can generate questions for you. So you have to do the work of actually answering those questions. But it can also give you some answers like it does here. And then I can start saving them into the graph to start building my own discourse on top of this already existing one. And here it's highlighted the thought I added, how it fits into the graph. So then Another interesting feature here is that I can deselect all those nodes and go into the gap insight in the analytics panel here on the right. And then it shows me the two different topics in the discourse that could be connected but are not very well connected and proposes me to think of a research question. So I can start questioning this text again, but from the place that would link two topics that are somehow not so well connected. So whatever I come up with would be relevant because it touches upon the subjects that exist in this discourse but also offers something new because it connects them in a new way. And there I can think myself or I can use the AI again and ask it to generate some interesting research questions in relation to this structural gap here. All right, so I go here and then I click on generate facts again and it will generate some interesting facts that connect those to different topics that exist in this discourse in a new way.